Good morning, Arbitrary. My name is Issa. Eli will not be joining us this morning, but do not worry. My voice will guide you through the madness of the day in the news, weather, and community highlights for the day. As a colleague and new assistant host of our most gracious radio voice, I hope to guide you in the quiet contemplation of the void between moments and shadows, even well-lit rooms do not always choke out. Are you listening, Arbitrary? I certainly hope so. You know the council hates it when the harvested rays of insanity go lower than quota. We only have to remember that terrifying month of August. It will be long years before we can forget the events of a single month. Speaking of events, this brings us to the news. Public safety would be appreciative that all entities in arbitrary abide by the mandatory curfew. Crime has been up recently, and they want to remind everyone that they are a figurehead organization with no real crime-fighting abilities or preference. They remain firm that those duties fall to the vigilantes, those ever-watching creatures in the dark who do terrible things to lawbreakers, whether they think their crimes or act them. Fear them, those blind bringers of terrifying and permanent justice. I've always thought that having vigilantes alone was deterrent enough, but I suppose some people don't mind having their organs replaced with leather bags of indeterminate origin filled with teeth. Looking forward to next week, the school boys' annual bake sale is next Wednesday. Be sure to bake your best recipes and do your most extravagant decorating. The multiform horror of the education board will judge the least popular baked goods and, as always, consume the loser with shocking efficiency. The mess afterwards will be taken care of by the ever-vigilant Communal Sanitation Department. Their taste for leftover blood and viscera is unprecedented. May the old gods be benevolent after death. This Friday will be the funeral for the Predictor. His friends, Turquoise and Autumn, have been deeply affected by his loss, and the family appreciates the sentiments received by all of you. These sentiments were appropriately analyzed by the Scientific Department of Arbitrary, the SDA for short, and returned to proper containment. The predictor's position is in a state of void right now. Council members will be sending out the ravens as well as practicing the appropriate rituals to fill his position tonight. If you are chosen, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. You have no choice but to fulfill this burden. We all loathe the torturous existence we are cursed to have without consent, but we learn to love it. You will too. Good luck, new predictor. Good luck. May the horrors you witness be small and the agony of your existence minimal for the rest of your newly blood contracted days. You will never be able to escape, nor run. They will find you. Oh yes, they will. By the way, I'm not sure if the pains of becoming a new demigod, pinned to give intimate knowledge of a tiny town to a totalitarian government, are anything I can comprehend, but Advil always works whenever my third eye is starting to give me visions of the deep void. Just tossing that out there. Mild and temporary pain relief recommendations aside, we move on to the weather. Today's forecast is cyan for the rest of the day until 9 p.m. At that moment, it will turn to charcoal for exactly two hours. Indigo will then be in place for the rest of the week as part of the rivalry she has with her sister, Violet. It is recommended that you do not challenge them. I repeat, do not challenge them. You will lose. You will lose horribly. And you will be missed. Because we will not find you. We never know where to find the bodies. Ever. Also, heavy chance of thunderstorms throughout the week. Better keep an umbrella and rain boots handy. Make sure that they have been blessed with the appropriate runes. We don't know when the rain starts or stops, only that it is a possibility. 
Whatever fearful and lonely god controls the rain is a fickle being. You will need the protection as well as the appeasement factor. We do not know when it will rain again after this. The SDA says it's a matter of chance and atmospheric excitation, but that community has always been on the edge of being purged for blasphemous practices and the occasional human sacrifice to the wrong council-appointed cult gods. As we wind down to the end of our broadcast today, I'd like to thank all of our listeners for tuning in again. Our new radio tally system in alliance with Public Safety's Board of Surveillance now monitors your attention to the radio station. Council would like to remind everyone as well that an approximation of at least 10 minutes a day of radio listening is mandatory by law. You don't want the vigilantes after you. Do you? Do you? That's what I thought. Have a wonderful existence, or at least the best you can muster. Arbitrary. Issa, signing out.